This is a video explanation of GCE O Level Additional Maths 2015 Paper 1, Question 7, Part 1. In this question, we are asked to sketch the absolute graph of 2x minus 4. Now, before we uh, sketch this graph, let's sketch this graph of y equal to 2x minus 4 without the absolute sign. Let's find the point where the straight line cut the x axis. Cut x axis. We let y to be 0. When y is 0, we solve for x. x will be equal to 2. Hence, the straight line cut the x axis at x equal to 2, y is 0. Cut y axis, we let x equal to 0. So, uh, y will be equal to 2 multiplied by 0 minus 4. So, we cut the y axis at 0, negative 4. 2, 0 is this point here. 0, negative 4 is here. 2 points is sufficient for a straight line. I'm going to join the points together. This is a solid line. But below the x axis will be a dotted line. Because this is a straight line of y equal to 2x minus 4 without the absolute sign. We are interested in the equation with the absolute sign. So for the absolute part, the negative y value have to reflect on the x-axis to get the actual graph here. So uh, this point here, if I reflect on the x-axis, will become a positive 4. So now we join, we join these two points together. This graph is y equal to absolute 2x minus 4. Let's mark down this point here. In part 2 of this question, we are given a straight line with gradient 3 and this straight line passes through 0, negative 1. We are asked to find the intersection of this straight line and this uh, y equal to absolute 2x minus 4. And to find the intersection point, we have to solve a simultaneous equation. Hence, we have to get the equation of this straight line out first. The equation of this straight line will be y equal to mx, m is 3, plus a c. So we are going to substitute the coordinate 0, negative 1 to find the value of c. So if we do the substitution, C, we should get a value of negative 1. So the equation of the line is y equal to 3x plus a c. c is a negative 1. So now we are going to solve the simultaneous equation of these two equations. The two equations are written here. Let's solve the equation. Now, um, to solve this equation, we have to remove the modular sign. The formal definition of modular is modular x can be equal to positive x if your x itself is greater than 0. The modular of x, if we remove the modular, can be negative x if your x is less than 0. So we have to consider these two cases when we remove the modular sign. So let's consider this case first. Our x must be greater than 0. So that when we remove the modular sign, it will be a positive x. So if the 2x minus 4 is greater than 0, which implies that the x is greater than 2, when we remove the modular sign, it will be a positive uh, value. Now let's consider this case here. So uh, if... 2x minus 4 is less than 0, which implies x is less than 2. Then when we remove the modular sign, it will, we will have a negative in front. Let's solve for x. Negative 3 will be equal to x. x is equal to negative 3. Now we have to reject this value here. Because for x to be valid for this case here, the x must be greater than 2. Let's solve for x for this part here. So, let's check our answer. For x to be valid, x has to be less than 2. So, this value here is valid. Let's find the y coordinate. When x is 1, 3 times 1 minus 1 will give us a 2. Hence, the point of intersection is at the coordinate x equal to 1, y equal to 2. In part 3 of the question, we are given the line with gradient m 
and it passes through the coordinate 0, negative 1. So the equation of the line is y equal to mx plus c. c is the y-intercept and 0, negative 1 is the y-intercept. Hence, the c is negative 1. We are asked to find the value of m for which this line here intersect this line here at two points. Let's assume some value of m and randomly draw the line. So this line passes through the coordinate 0, negative 1. And assuming that intersect at this two point here, this is one possible line of this equation where the y intersect is 0, negative 1. And the m we are supposed to find. Now to do this question, let's assume the red color line intersect the graph at only one point. So this is the point, and this point has to pass through 0, negative 1. The gradient of this line is uh, 1 divided by 2, so it's half. X, mm, the Y intercept is negative 1. So the gradient of this green color line is a half. When M is half, this green line intersect the graph at only one point. In order for the green line to intersect the graph at two points, we have to shift the green line up. When the green line is shifted up, that means the line will be steeper, meaning the gradient here will increase. This is one possible line where it still cut the 0, negative 1 and intersect the graph at two points. If we continue to increase the gradient of the purple line until the gradient is the same as the graph, the line is shown here. The equation of this line is y equal to mx. The gradient is the same as this graph here. The gradient of this graph is 2, so it's 2x minus away 1. The y in the side is minus 1. Now, um, what is important here is the gradient 2 and the gradient half here. When m is greater than half and less than 2, this line here will intersect the graph at two points. Let's understand part 3 again using animation. We are told that this line here cut through the point 0, minus 1. It has the value m and we are asked to find the value of m such that this line here and the graph y equal to absolute 2x minus 4 intersect at two points. For now, the green line intersect the actual graph at one point only. So we are going to increase the gradient of 0 0.5 upwards such that the green and the black will intersect at two points. So we slowly increase the gradient. Now notice that now the two graphs intersect at two points and at the same time the y intersect remain at 0 minus 1. If we continue to increase the gradient of the green color graph until the green and the black are parallel, meaning the gradient is the same, they are no longer intersect at two points. Because the gradient of this line is 2, the maximum m value this green line can go is less than 2 in order for the green and the black line to intersect at two points.